Alex, your goals seemed to be pretty important at the times when they were scored. You just talk about how uh, they came about. Uh, I mean, the first one felt important. It was uh, just a few seconds left, and uh, I don't know. I just shot it, and it's, uh, I don't know. I don't really know if it touched anything or if it was screen. Uh, but it was nice to see it go in. And the second one is just a great pass from from Henrik. Were you expecting a, a wild back and forth game against the Caps like you had tonight? Uh, I mean, we know we knew they're very good, uh, good team offensively with a lot of skills. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, playing more aggressive and uh, keeping the team together all over the ice. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's it's nice to score seven goals in a game. You've never had a hat trick. Were you thinking shot whenever you got onto the ice after getting a pair? Nah, not really. I mean, it's not like I was going to chase it or anything. Uh, <sighs> we just, uh, that's not how we play. We want right, to make the right place at the uh, right time. What happened on the Yeah, that was a nice change. I think we would like to spread those over the course of a couple more games, but uh, um, we came ready to play tonight. Uh, it was a great effort by a number of players, and um, uh, you know, hopefully, we can uh, use this as a slingshot to uh, you know get going on this uh, this big road trip we have coming up. How about yourself personally? I mean, two go in, and you guys got secondary scoring tonight too. But yourself? Yeah, it's. Uh, it's big, you know, Maxim had a big game as well. Got us started on the right foot there. It was a big goal for our team. Uh, we've been struggling to score the first goal, and he comes up with a big hustle play and um, gets us going on the right foot. Um, and then, uh, you know, we had a couple couple great plays from from, uh, from Eddie. He was able to bang home two for us, and uh, the power play was working well. So uh, all the things that uh, seem to be struggling uh, worked well for us tonight. Going to have a feel of the old Southeast division? Uh, I guess. I don't know. I played there half of the year, so I don't know how much of a feel I got for it, but uh, it's a pleasure playing against a team uh, as talented as the Capitals, and um, you know, you get up for games that uh, have uh, superstars like they do. And, uh, you know, even when they tied it up, uh, we, kept, uh, we kept going at them and uh, you know, kept putting the pressure, and we, uh, we were able to score some, uh, some huge ones, especially in the third there. You made a save again there with that save in the third, just talking about Robin Ovechkin on the doorstep. Yeah, it was a point shot. I think uh, it was deflected right before it got to me and uh, made the save and just, uh, just kind of reacted there. So, uh, you know, it was nice to, to be able to make a big save in that situation and uh, get rewarded right after with with the big goal uh, by Lappy. What changed in the third period? Do you think from a defensive standpoint you guys sort of fairly solid? Well, we got the lead and, uh, you know, we, uh, we've been fairly good at protecting leads in the third, um, you know, in the last few years. So, uh uh, we've been involved in a lot of tight matches, and uh, we know what it takes to win. So, uh, guys did a good job, and not only that, I mean, uh, as you saw, we we also extended uh, the lead. Max, your first two goal night in a Canucks uniform and two completely different style of goals. Walk them through them for us if you can. Yeah, the uh, first one was a little lucky, but the second one I think is a good job by Kevin putting the puck on the board and uh, Higgy driving the net. But uh, I think if we're fair tonight, we're going to give that win to Lou that makes some uh, unreal save for us. Can you talk a little bit about how this game played itself out through 60? Were you expecting a real uh, seesaw offensive struggle like these two teams had? Uh, I think uh, first, for the game we said we we're going to be good defensively, but I think we did a pretty good job. I mean, uh, uh, we played a good team game tonight, and uh, like I said, we we got to give that win to Luke because he, he made some huge save for us, and he keep, kept us in the game the whole game. Nice when a team's been struggling to score that you can look to a lot of different players to find the score sheet. Yeah, like I said, it's a team win, and uh, uh, we've seen a lot of good things tonight on the ice, and we, ju we just got to keep building on that one. The importance of this win going into the road trip?
Rogers Wireless post-game exclusive. Yannick Hansen, uh, a little bit of a weird one tonight with so much offense. Yeah, a lot of goals scored tonight, obviously. We don't want to be, be giving up this many scoring chances, and obviously a goal as well, but uh, we were able to respond even though they came back a couple of times, and, and we got the win, and that's what matters. How nice is it that for a team that had been struggling to find scoring and consistent scoring that you look to so many different players to get the job done? No, it's always nice to, to get scoring from from everyone in the lineup. It builds uh, momentum, it builds confidence, so there's a, there's a lot of positives to take out of it. And uh, Roberto Luongo certainly comes up big when he needed to to uh, yeah. keep your team in it. Yeah, exactly. He makes some uh, some extremely big saves at, at key points this in this game, and, and we see when, when everybody's is putting in, we're we're getting we're getting the result we want. For people to watch to make. Was it fun to watch? Yeah, it was That's actually. It. Lots of goals. Eleven. It was like 1980s yeah. all over again. Yeah, it was fun to play. These guys are usually a fun team to play. They're dynamic uh, offensively, and you know, personally, playing against Sylvester, and he's a fun guy to play against. He, uh, you know, he's a competitor. He works hard out there, and he's a fun guy to play against. Was it uh, an opponent that came at the right time for you guys to, you know, get excited again about playing? Yeah, I think so. I think you know we approach the game as a team that's definitely our equal, if not better. Obviously, they're playing better than us right now, so. Uh, it's a nice matchup for us to go out there and, and put out our best game, and it, it brought out the best in us tonight for sure. Talk a little bit about the play of your goaltender. Uh, he really seemed to give your team a chance when it got a little loosey goosey down the stretch in the third period. Yeah, we went into the third period tied, and uh, you know we were comfortable with that situation, and uh, we were able to get the first one after that. And you know Lou made some big saves. I know Ovechkin was frustrated with that last one that uh, Lou saved there, and it's a great save. So uh, nice to see Lou make that. I can go. I don't have to stay. <laughs> yeah, I think Eddie played a real strong game. He's been uh, getting a lot of uh, opportunities in the, since the start of the season, especially uh, on the power play. He was a little bit uh, off in some instances on his execution, but tonight he was bang on and uh, played a real strong game for us. Can you talk about the offensive production of the bottom, the bottom six? The last yeah, season? I mean... You know, it's so important for a team to get, uh, you know, scoring by committee, and uh, that's how you you win on a, on a consistent basis. And for our team tonight to have uh, both uh, Max's line and, and Manny's line come up and uh, score big goals at key times, uh, it was really important. And uh, we're going to hope that that continues moving forward here. Talk a bit about Higgins and Lapierre. I mean, they've been constants this year, and. You even said at the trade di deadline last year, what, you weren't quite sure what you were mm -hmm. getting, but their effort more often than not has been there, and they've probably been two of your better players. I think that's the key to their success right now is, uh, the, you know, they come to play, and that's why they've been since the start of the season some of our most consistent players. They, you know, they put their work boots on, and they go out there, and they give it their best every night. They block shots, and, uh, you know, they get in on the four check, mm -hmm. and it's really good to see them uh, get rewarded tonight. Yeah, a lot of speed and second effort, but what did you like the most tonight, Alon? Uh, you know what, I liked the uh, way we came out. thought we set a good pace and a, a, a good tone to the game. I liked the way we responded in the third period after not having such a good second period. Give them credit. I mean, they uh, in that second period, uh, they were moving the puck real quick, and they had a lot of speed thrown at us, and it caught us and on a couple of occasions there. But... I thought in the third, when the game was on the line, uh, we got the job done. Tough team for a goalie to get his quote-unquote game back. Do you think? When the game was on the line in the third period, he did what he was supposed to do, and that's what we need from him. How would you like your second line tonight? Yeah, I think it's coming along. I think I think this was one of David's uh, better game. Uh, you can see he's starting to feel more comfortable. Uh, Ryan obviously is uh, is trying real hard and trying to put the pieces together, and uh, you know hopefully that that line can uh, continue to improve because we obviously need uh, uh, an offensive production. Thanks, guys. See you Monday.